I'm Chris Manning. I'm a producer, engineer, and also mixer. I do a lot of mixing. Recently, I've had the opportunity to try out the new Universal Audio 710 preamp. And the first thing I noticed was that it had that classic UA little twinkle, that little sparkle right at the top, just like the 1176 compressors have. The UA710 has a totally cool feature. It's a blender knob that you can blend between a tube preamp and a class A solid state preamp. Um, it's a genius invention because uh, it allows you to fine tune and totally dial and tweak uh, the, the best of a pr tube preamp and all the cool things that that does and the punchiness that a solid state preamp gives you. You can drive it as hard as you want on the front end. So you can, you can hit the tubes hard and you can find that sweet spot where they start to distort in a pleasing way. And you can also do that with the solid state side. So you can choose how hard you want to drive it, and then you can blend it and adjust both the input and the blend until you get the correct color that you're looking for. I think that's one of the coolest things to come along, and I can't believe no one's come up with this idea before. I used the 710 on a uh, recording um, I've been doing with a guy named Elliot Randall, a very talented young uh, country singer and songwriter. We uh, recorded acoustic guitars through it. Uh, the microphone we used was Neumann KM84i and it sounded amazing. I found that I would sweep from the um, solid state all the way to the tube and somewhere I'd find this juicy sweet spot right around like 60% tube, maybe 62 right in there it just opened up. I got all the cool harmonics that the tube, it's a 12 AX7 tube, um, and then I had enough of the solid state uh, punch and the immediacy. You know you want the, the pick just mm, kick right through and you can sweep smoothly through it and you can just you can rock it back and forth until you find that sweet spot where it all opens up. Where, where you hit that important place where the preamp is is breathing and it's not working too hard but you're also flattering the musician you know finding that place where the musician's dynamic isn't compromised and that gives me a, a wider palette to work with as a producer and engineer I can't wait to use it in the mix I want to try and run some stuff through it and distort those tubes and just get some cool creamy compression, distortion to blend into a vocal. That'd be rad.